All right, guys, today let's talk about coffee from 1973. Coffee, black and stacked and packed with fury. Which is a black exploitation film, and it's one of the first black exploitation films I've, I've ever seen. I really have not seen any of them, and I, after watching this movie, I'm going to say it right now, I really want to see more. And this stars Pam Greer, and it is a movie that, again, Pam Greer I, see, I have seen in uh, movies like Jackie Brown and Class of 1999. I, I know I've seen her in other stuff, but I really do like her in all her roles that I've seen. And this one really solidifies just how awesome of an actor she is. Starting out, I really didn't know... Like, I knew that this movie is one that people talk about. And, and uh, Quentin Tarantino himself, this is the reason why Pam Greer is in, is in Jackie Brown. And I really liked that she in this movie just is such a charming actress like I really thought that she worked very very well on being a badass character but also the way that she talked when she was nice and sweet I thought really made it work with both of those elements now don't get excited I just want to ask you a few questions about King George and it's interesting because it's again it's one of the it's the first black exploitation movie I've watched I really did like it. I think that it was really fun, really enjoyable. And it it felt very similar to me with the fun factor to something as a slasher because again, it's an, it's another exploitation type of film. And this one watching it, I really loved really loved the style of it, really loved the feel of it. I really liked all the fun action to it. I thought that it really no matter what stayed consistently fun and consistently uh, entertaining and the basic plot if I didn't say already is that coffin people call her cough she's a nurse who is killing off drug lords who made her sister Lou Bell uh, become addicted to drugs and she's killing them off in an act of revenge and I think that that is really just a fun easy concept but it's really fun and interesting and again it's just it's pure entertainment just on a standard of there's there's not much to this but it really works because of just how great Pam Greer is and how fun the action is. And the other cast, too. We also have Sid Hagen here as well, who is really good, too. And it's really cool seeing him in one of his, I'm assuming, one of his earliest movies. I don't know when he started making films, but he really was awesome. And Carol Lodical, who plays Priscilla, it's funny to see her because she was in Friday the 13th Part 5 as Ethel. And, and Ethel is one of my favorite characters in the Friday franchise. And honestly, at first, I didn't even recognize her because she played it so differently than that than in Friday the Thirteenth Part Five. She really is is a is a different character, and she has long long hair, so she just looked pretty different to me. And it took me a minute to go, "Hey, that's her. That's her. That's awesome." But but looking at the movie though as a whole, I think that it. It really just factors in on such a great entertainment factor. And I watched this because Urban Legend I rewatched recently, and it's got the character Reese who was watching this movie on TV in that in Urban Legend, watching Coffee. And it's of course the scene where she's pointing it up at the guy and she like blows the guy away, like the first guy in the movie. And it just, it's such a scene that I keep remembering. So I was like, you know, coffee's free on Amazon Prime. I'm going to go see it. And I'm so glad I did because it just really was fun. And I want to see more of these black exploitation movies because this one, if they're like this, then I'm going to enjoy them a lot. And I also see the, saw that Foxy Brown is on Amazon Prime as well, which is the next Pam Greer black exploitation movie that came out. And. It just it looks fun as well, so I'm glad that they've got all these on Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime is so great. There's so many great things that I want to see, but there's so little time. And it just it's a movie that's so fun and so entertaining and enjoyable that I really dug the hell out of it. And I, I wonder if I bet people do love this movie. I just I'm late to the game like usual when it comes to older movies like this. But I really love the hell out of it. Tell me down below what you guys thought of coffee, if you have seen it or if you're a fan, and thank you guys for watching.